Hey guys, so last week I explained to you why somebody who believes they're going to get results from their workout or fitness program will get much better results than somebody who doesn't believe, even if they're on the same program, they have the same starting weight, same height, same goals, same body types, the person who believes will get more and better and quicker results and more long lasting results than the person who doesn't believe. So that was in last week's video and I also gave you a few simple tips on how you can readjust your own goals so that you believe that you can achieve them when they're in smaller bite sizes versus a big end goal like I want to lose 20 kilos which may be very daunting. This week I want to talk to you about what a belief is, how it's formed and how you can begin to replace your negative beliefs that are standing in your way with more helpful ones that will support the achievement of your goals. What is a belief? A belief is simply a thought that's been practiced long enough and enough times for it to become automatic. It's a very deeply engraved neural pathway in your head that automatically fires without you consciously choosing for it to. So it's not a thought that you consciously decide to have, it becomes automatic because you've practiced it consciously and purposely that many times in the past. Now maybe um, it was through your parents repeating the same thing to you over and over again, or um, bullies at school, or maybe you taking on some of those um, negative things and repeating them to, your head, to yourself in your head over and over again. The simple repetition of a thought, whether it's you know about your religious uh, beliefs or about um, who you are as a person or what you're capable of achieving or what this world is like, what men and women are like, all of your beliefs have come from practice thoughts. Things that were said to you and things that you said and repeated to yourself over and over again until they became automatic. This means that just because you believe something does not mean it's true. For example, I grew up feeling very, very insecure about who I am and my self-worth and what it is that I could accomplish. And that came mostly because I had um, a father who was very rough with his words and his actions. So I grew up um, self-medicating with food, turning to food um, because I didn't feel I had anyone else to turn to. And as a result, I started to gain weight. And as a result, my father started to call me, started to call me overweight. And he used to express to my mother how ashamed he was of my being overweight. Hearing that over and over again, every dinner time, over and over again, definitely put in my head that I'm an embarrassment or my being overweight is something to be ashamed of. And I repeated that to myself over and over again, not even realizing that I was repeating it to myself till I hit my 20s. That I then realized that I had been self berating or putting myself down the same way that my father used to. So only when you identify these beliefs through paying attention to your self-talk, can you then start to look at the belief and think, is this a valid belief or is it something that I simply took on because it was said to me when I was at a young and vulnerable age and simply didn't know any better? And is this belief benefiting me or an obstacle standing in my way? Is this belief sabotaging my progression and achievement of my goals or is it supporting my progression towards them? Because guess what? If you have a belief that's negative and it's holding you back and it's no longer serving you, you can change it. It does not happen overnight. It takes weeks, months, sometimes years, depending on how frequently and how many times you repeated this false belief to yourself or the self-limiting belief. So next week, I want to talk to you uh, about the actual steps, how you can um, take your negative belief and start to change it and consciously practice that new thought until that new thought becomes your new belief and replaces the old one that wasn't benefiting you. So your homework this week in order to prepare for next week is simply to be more self-aware. The next time you um, cancel a work workout session, you um, skip a meal or eat something you know you shouldn't have eaten, um, or um, pity yourself, feel sorry for yourself and use it as an excuse to not accomplish what you set out to accomplish. 
in those moments i want you to be really self-aware and try to listen to your self-talk what is it that you're saying to yourself inside your head be aware of it you will be surprised by what you're saying to yourself without actually consciously choosing it and once you write these things down that means that next week we can actually go through and look at the things that you're saying to yourself and identify if they're helpful or not and then figure out or put you on the right process to start changing those beliefs. So you can direct message me your, um, your self-talk once you write it down and finally hear it for the first time and we can go from there. All right, guys, have a great week and see you next time. Bye.